Rita Udina, Book and Paper Conservator based in Barcelona. My profession is related to libraries, archives and museums, doing the fun part of it, which is touching the objects. My task is to restore and preserve paper artifacts so that they are in the best of conditions, either to be exhibited or simply safely stored. Some objects tend to destroy themselves, so this second part of simply preserved is quite a big deal. Being a conservator involves a variety of skills and knowledge from different fields, which makes it a very comprehensive and fascinating profession. Among them, history, science, creativity and manual skills. It requires a great deal of creativity, because although there are some standard protocols regarding the conservation treatment, each object has diverse particularities that shall require considerable modifications. There are no supermarkets for paper conservators. Creativity is again needed when choosing our tools and equipment. We usually borrow them from a variety of different professions. And we even make our own tools and machines. Paper conservation requires a significant knowledge on arts and crafts history. We must have a deep understanding on how the objects we restore were made, what products and methods were used according to different historical periods. Just like a forger, being a conservator involves having high manual and aesthetic skills because often missing or broken parts need to be replaced, reproduced or infilled, and this should be done in the most delicate way and according to precise aesthetic requirements. As opposite to forgers, being a conservator has quite a strict ethical background. Intellectual or philosophical assets are paramount. I personally find this the most challenging item of our profession. Finding the right balance between recovering the functionality of the object and keeping most of it unaltered implies ethical considerations and, again, a lot of creativity. We are somehow scientists as well. We often use chemistry or physics either to identify compounds of the materials, measure the degree of damage or apply treatments Conservators shall never be famous, like artists, because we perform quietly and a bit lonely on our conservation lab. Besides, although ours is a creative task, our name is rarely displayed on exhibitions. But, being a conservator, you shall have the greatest reward of recovering wonderful treasures for the generations to come. You shall enjoy the permanent challenges you daily have to solve, amazing discoveries, and believe me, it's the most fascinating profession.